Welcome back to Factorial, my all achievement game. Got the science going, got most of the production going. So starting to look at expansion, which I think can be oil, because if I can get oil, I can start working towards robots, and then I can start working towards more power, more iron, more coal. Coal, well, coal's power, uh, copper's what I'm thinking of. So let's go and get some turrets, which I appear to have forgotten to build a box on, so let's fix that. Probably just one stack will be enough for those. I think in there's damage. No power looks good. Let's get rid of those. Pick up some ammo. I'm gonna store the extra ammo in there. Probably enough stone walls for that. Uh, let's put it on one of the end ones. That'll probably be the most efficient. So let's see where I'm gonna put this. Well, what am I gonna do next? I think. Probably just work towards stuff I need for robots. And then save my resources because what I do not want to do is run out of Where's it your iron, copper or coal before I've got the robots? So I'm gonna check these. I think there's some over here. How many is this? One, two, three, four, eight. So as soon as I have eight of these, that will be done. Very nice. That can keep doing its thing for a little bit, I guess. Make sure I have plenty of I probably should actually make a lot more pipe. Yeah, how am I doing for that? I've got some in. Oh, I'm going in there. Well, let's pick up some more pipe just now. Not going to worry about trains just at this moment. Go to the other stuff first. How am I doing for turrets? 18. If I'm doing like. I would do 10 in blocks, so that'd be what, like. 10. 20, 30. I kind of want at least 30 over there. I want those bases out the way. I can upgrade that to be a bit faster, of course. That will help. Steel is low, but I don't need steel for turrets. Just trying to... Well, I'm trying to optimise my time by not going back and forth too much. This might involve going back and forth more. Well, I mean... No. What am I saying? That's rubbish. So, in order to not go back and forth more, I'm kind of hanging around here for resources. Might involve waiting more. And it's definitely a balancing act there one well, now you've wasted more time and you actually saved. But I can pick up resources I know I'm gonna need while I'm here. Running short on those power poles, for example. Just more of those as well actually, so let's get more of both of those. And I've got short on those, those. Kind of short on everything really, but we'll see if I pick everything up it's gonna make Let's go waste resources, we throw in the box for no purpose. What is that short on pipe? 8 is a good starter number. I can get robots with 8. Gonna want some of those. I've got 8 of those. Gonna want a couple of those, but I don't need too many. What about locomotives later? Going to need some offshore pumps though. Definitely gonna need lots of storage. Put some oil in, put the gas in, and so forth. Now we're going to stuff for robots. How I'll do with that later. That's getting there as fast as it can. I'm at actually on iron plates now because I picked up stuff there. Let's see how I'm getting on with those. I don't think I've got any more around. Have I got any stupid ones I can just pick up that are doing nothing? Would actually be some of those ones. Okay, probably a bad idea, but let's roll with it. Now, let's just get rid of some of this copper I don't need. Give me some more space. It's actually same with iron poles. Don't need those. Let's get rid of them. Get rid of that. Just try to look for basically space here. That can go. Yeah, five's fine for the time being. So that can go in there. Now let's get rid of this copper, like... It says I can't do handcrafts, there's no reason to be carrying around these raw materials. Right, that looks better. Pick up some ammo, now I've got some space to pick up ammo. Brilliant. Then go pick up whatever turrets available, and I'm going to pick up the ones to the east. Because these, if I expand out, these are going to do... I'm going to leave that one there because of that down there. But yeah, as I expand out, these aren't going to do anything useful. Because I'm expanding east anyway. 
So what I can do is I can pick them up and just move them to where they're going to be useful. Now I think while I'm here, I'm actually going to get the non-stack inserter upgrade because that's going to help with everything. Because when I do trains, for example, make the trains load on load faster. Also, there's a couple of recipes that are really fast. Like I think Rail Track is actually one of them. It does what four per second. So getting these fast inserters to have double the capacity for that is actually really helpful. And it's only a couple of techs, I think it's worthwhile. So while I'm over here, I might as well pick up that stuff. And right, now I'm going to go over... Oh, I might have made a mistake here. Can I actually get out? Just. So I'm going to go over to oil, basically take out those bases and secure the location. And I can start laying a pipe back. So there's a few bases around. I just want to get rid of them quickly as possible so they can shoot those and I'm just going to come up here and literally be like put turrets there it's going to give me some extra firepower to kill these faster there you go kill that much faster I'm not going to worry about the damage turrets for now I'll fix them up later So, one base out the way. Want to check over here, because there might be another base just to the east. Not entirely sure, it's hard to tell. Let's just kill some of these. Want to kill these worms, because they'll damage the turrets really quickly. One worm down. Two worms down. Right, worm's dead. Now the turret should be able to finish that job off really quickly. Some more bases to the north. Do I worry about that now or do I worry about that later? I think I'll save those for later. I must go to check just to the east. Yeah, so I was saying about the concerns before. So I'm not going to build stack inserters right now. What I wanted is this deck, which is only red green because of this. Because it makes the non stack inserters into like stack inserters really to be honest they're like light, stack inserters light or something I don't know but yeah it makes them a lot better yeah it's quite near the oil let's get rid of this so I can come over here help I actually put ammo in all of those get rid of some of the spawners get rid of the worms I swear getting that military science would help but I'm going to I think I'm going military science eventually because of the big bites. If they turn up, it could be a bad time. And just generally making things more resource like effective. But if I want to get robots first, then the robots can help me build the military science. Because then I'm not wasting resources I need for getting that stuff. I can do it after I've got outpost. And the robots can actually like build a lot of the belts and stuff. It'll just be a lot quicker to build it. So that's what I'm thinking now. The problem here, of course, is actually there's a forest right on top of the thing I want. So I have to try and work out where these are. And then try and link them together. I guess the trees will... Yeah, they're going to get in the way. I guess the trees will reduce the pollution, but... Oh, a little bit awkward here. So they are literally on top of the oil points. I can't even get through there. That's better. That's one. At least it highlights them. Because one of my big problems with trees is the visibility issue. But since it puts these nice green boxes around, I can see where I need to go cut down some trees. I think all of these ones. Is this the last one? I hope so, because I've only got one pump left. That is all of them. Yeah. That would have been somewhat annoying if I was like, actually, not with a pump. Let's set this up for doing oil stuff. So, probably along there, it's just going to be a straight pipe. I don't think I'm going to get any benefit from undergrounds. It won't be enough food 
Like, undergrounds have better throughput, really enough. Like, you can get more liquid over a longer distance. Or rather, you can get more liquid over the same distance because of how the throughput works. But they're more expensive. Yeah. Uh, I should have checked if they're more expensive than at the maximum reach, but doing lots of short ones is definitely more expensive. And these oil wells are not going to output that much. I'm not going to be throughput limited on this little patch of oil. So that gets those there. Need to worry about... Fighters could potentially still come through this woodland. Like, it is possible, so I'm going to clear out some trees here on the south. Well, it's kind of like a southeast edge. And then put my turrets around here. And just check, yes, yeah, so that covers the whole edge there. That works quite nicely. Probably that's enough as well. They don't produce too much pollution and there's a load of trees around. So I'm not too worried about it. Let's get that tech I was talking about. Wish I had the research queue, but you don't get the research queue on the default map settings. I'm not sure if you'd technically call that like cheating or whether it's like fine. I don't know. But haven't got it and I'm not going to restart the game to start it with that enabled. So turrets there, 50 ammo is probably fine. Then you got that and this side. Again put some, let's just put the stone wall there so I can get, get it more easily. Come around there. I also should put a radar down. That would be useful. I'll do that when I do the power. How did I miss those? Wow, idiot. Don't understand how I missed those, but good job I caught it. So this bottom bit is really in the trees. I'm going to be having more stuff down there anyway, mines and things. So... Maybe I can get away with six here. Of course, the more trees I cut down, the less pollution it absorbs and the more likely it is to be attacked. So if I can leave as many trees as possible, it would be good. Like so. Then work out the power. So if we start here, that gets all of those, I think. That gets those. Try and walk my way around here. That gets both of those and that. Where I can go somewhere here, right in the middle. I can go there, right in the middle. Now I just need to get the pipe out. I thought I was stuck there for a second, but yeah, you can walk around the edge of that, fortunately. So yeah, I need to get the pipe out from somewhere, and then I need to run the power to it. Oil, there's water down there, so I guess obvious place for oil is going to be somewhere there. So, maybe I come across like there. It's the only problem with trees. It gets in the wear pipe, it doesn't do the second piece sometimes. I need to get through this one too. Okay, so I was thinking there maybe. Now I've got these oil refineries anyway, so let's actually just come down here, figure out what I need to do, and then run the pipe straight up. So I could build them here, or I could build them over here. Here looks a bit more constrained, maybe I'll do the chemical plants here. And here looks a bit more open. I wish I had bought grenades though. So I'm going to build here, go up, but I want to leave space for a track. Because I do need to get to there. A little bit awkward, I guess I can build here. Makes the water pipe a little bit longer than I would have liked, but that's fine. And these will... I wish they snapped to straight lines. But yeah, these will come up here. Then if oil is there... Basically run this up and see where it ends up. That's not too bad. Do the same thing with the power. Oh, I missed the pipe out. That would have been bad. I 
Okay, and it doesn't snap into straight lines because it just likes to be annoying. That's done, so more stuff for robotics, I guess. Which will be that. We're going to need the chemical science pack. And this can come down. And that should be good. Because what I'm going to do here, so this is going to be water. I'm going to set this up while I'm here because it's easier, I think, to do all of this at once. Assume I've got enough pipe. But hopefully by now when I go back, they'll have built more stuff. So that's those. And I'm going to have three pipes here. One for each output. And the reason I'm doing all this is because I know I need advanced oil, at least some advanced oil, to make robots because I need lubricant, which means I need heavy oil. Which is this one, but I can't actually do that until I've got the blue science, so I'm just kind of being ready for it. Let's put the gas on the left hand side. So that means every one of those goes to the bottom one. And oil comes up here. And this is where I'm going to go through undergrounds really quickly. Definitely one of the most expensive parts. Gap there for power, so that's convenient. And then I'm just going to put. Let's put a radar up here so I can see what's going on. This can come from here at the bottom. And it can just go down. And then just come along the edge here. This is where I was thinking of doing the chemical plants. Might have to move this later, but let's do, do this quickly and easily for now. In fact, having mentioned those, I'm going to move those now. Because I'm building to the right of them again, I'm going to put the chemical plants there, so they're not entirely going to be useful. What I do know is going to be useful though, is on the map you can come down the bottom here. So I already built turrets there, I didn't build turrets here yet. So let's just, well let's stop driving into the cliff, drive into the cliff, not useful. I'm going to come here, and you can see that's going to block off this entire passage. Nothing's going to get past these, well, unless it destroys them. So let's give them some fortification so they don't get destroyed. Make sure they have plenty of ammo. And yeah, it should do for down there. I'm going to have to build more turrets around here at some point when I do those mines. At the moment the pollution cloud looks like I'm safe. And the oil is pumping. And they're starting to do something. Just need to get more pipes and bits for them. Anything else here that's actually useful for what I'm doing right now? I do need these eventually, but I don't think I need them at this time. I don't think they're going to do anything good for me. Because they're going to need red circuits, which I don't have. Not, don't, not using trains for oil because I just ran a pipe, so I don't need that. So really, I think the answer is no. The next thing I want is this, but I need to get the blue science. So coming back here, made a decent number of those. I'm running low on large power poles actually, and could do some more turrets. Probably should also fix this up in a minute as well. I'll do that when I get out. I don't want to get the car destroyed, that would be annoying. So let's get these pipes in that I missed. I think just those ones. And then some over here. So again, I'm not actually making heavy oil or whatever. I forget to set the recipe. Let's set the recipe. I'm not actually making the other types of oil yet because I need advanced oil processing. But I know I'm going to need it before robots anyway, so 
We might as well do this all in one guy. Saves me remembering to do it later. Oops, almost missed one. So these should all be going. I can actually take some of my tanks and since I've got stuff there anyway, where do I want to build these? I'm going to build them over here and hope they're out of the way. So basically, since oil is infinite, but it gets slower and slower. So basically, the ability of me to actually extract is going to be a limiting factor. I want to have some tanks to try and store some stockpile for later. So these are all going to come down here. And then I'll deal with those later too. I wanted to come back here. Actually, I won't. I can do the heavy oil. Oh, well, I can do the advanced oil setup remotely. Because I can change the recipe remotely with a uh, copy paste. I've got the radar coverage. Which means if I set this all up in one go to have storage, I won't need to come back here when I get that tech. And I'll be able to go straight into setting up the stuff I need. So that's the water for the oil processing. These are just coming down here to like get out the way. And then I I got that right. Doesn't quite reach. Oh well, I can do it that way. Yeah, then these will go over there. And I'll be able to figure out my chemical plants later. So let's do this one first. Crash into it, of course. Get the trees out the way. And that one. Oh, that doesn't actually fit. Well, they don't have to be like identical. Kind of more expensive because I used up an extra pipe, but oh well. Hit everything again. So heavy oil can be down here out the way. I mean, that's the main thing doing this, I just need to keep these things as out the way as I can get them really. Let's put light oil. No, light oil can go here. I decide it's a bad idea later. And gas can go all the way past a lot of them. Or I could fail at building a pipe. Try again. Oh, I got some rocks here anyway. Yeah, around these rocks. Come, we're not going to be able to build around that easily anyway, regardless. So, I might as well put something relatively useful here. Like that. So that's going to stock up. While I'm over here, let's get this heavy oil thing done. So the only bit of heavy oil I care about right now is lubricants. So I'm just going to take, let's just take a pipe off there and I can extend those out later if I need to. Take that somewhere that's as out the way as I can get it. That's probably fine. And then I'll be able to upgrade these later to be lubricant. Then this is going to come along. Same as the gas, really. So yeah, bring it over to basically here, and then I can route it into the stuff when I build it. Brought on pipes, I need the gas. Some more of those. How am I doing for chemical plants? I'm doing fine. Gas, yeah, so I might as well just take this one. I can rearrange these pipes later if I really need to. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, it really depends on how much space I use up for circuits and stuff like that. Well, I think I'll do is put red circuits over here because I need the coal 
and that's out the way. So coming across all these belts, it doesn't quite reach the whole way unfortunately. But if I come over here, try to leave as much space clear because I want to be able to drive up and down here without crashing into the pipes every time. That's pretty much my only real criteria I think. So bring that over here and then figure out what I'm doing with it. Plenty of space to do it uh, free from the clear. Maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll do the plastic here. There's a possibility. What am I doing for time? Yeah, I'll probably finish setting this up next time. But I have got the oil done. Because to do the rest of the science will be quite a lot of time. So, oil is done. Then, next time I'll be doing the plastic to make the red circuit. Also do sulfur, but that's just gas and water. There's water there, gas is there. Easy. And then once I've got my red circuits and my sulfur, I can do blue science, which can get me that. Once I've got that, I can start doing lubricants and stuff, and then I can start making robots. So if I'm really on the ball, I can make blue science and robots in probably half an hour, maybe. We'll have to see. But that'll be for next time, so be sure to like, subscribe, and look out for that.